Hey guys, welcome to another edition of SellMyComicBooks.com Vintage Comic Book Unboxing. We're doing another CGC box today. Uh, so I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to do it. Oh, by the way, my name is Sean. The guy behind the camera is Sean. Hello. This is the Orange Knife. You guys all... Orange Knife has a lot of fans. I think it's got more fans than I do. Are we going to get those uh, replicas? I don't know what you're talking about. That's top secret, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we wanted to plug that. <laughs> we got a surprise coming, and Sean just kind of mentioned it. But all right, we're gonna we're gonna stop there. Anyway, the first book, Mystery Tales number forty six six zero. It's kind of a cool cover. What's going on? She's like coming out of the wall. Yeah, right at the corner too. Where is? Lola Drake. Uh -huh. She's in the wall. She's in the wall. The guy's coming out of the wall too, actually. It's a weird cover. Yeah. Marvel Tales 21. No, no, Mystery Tales. Oh, Mystery, yeah. That, yeah, Mystery Tales. Flying around in a giant box. Oh, it's, the, uh, it's Willy Wonka. The 13th floor. They're in the uh, elevator. Right. And that comic book is why there's no 13th floors in hotels. <laughs> Mystery Tales, 3165. Train cover. These books are actually quite difficult in, in grades like 6.5. Oh, no. Okay. Same one. It's, same it's, it's so difficult, we have two of them. <laughs> Wow, that's a really nice 6.5. Holy crap. Off white pages. Oh, it's got some like light standing at the top. It's a good looking 6.5 though, man. Wow, that spine the is. Spine is impeccable. It's well, I guess there's a little at the bottom. Oh, but yeah. Oh, well, right. There's some like bu bug chew. It bug chew, like. yeah. Wow. But it's it's really good. Yeah, that's a that's a nice 6.5. Someone's going to be really proud to have that in their collection. Wow. Well, Mystery Tales, 31 in 5.5. Five. Five. All right. You already have more of this. I don't know. Issue. This all came from one collection. The guy had multiple issues of, of really crazy uh, Atlas, war, or Atlas um, horror books. That's a cool cover. Mystery Tales, 32, 6 -0. It's the bridge to nowhere. To where? Nowhere. I prefer the escalator to nowhere. Yeah? Yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No. It's, it's a Simpsons reference. Oh, uh, okay. They build the escalator to nowhere, so you get to the top and you just fall off. <laughs> it's, it's in the monorail episode. <laughs> Journey in Unknown Worlds, 31, 5-5. Five, five. Once again, if you like Atlas, this is the video for you. Jenny on World on the World's 355. The horrible fear. Invisible man, looks like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's code approved. Uh no, this one's not. Oh, that's the star right there. Oh, is that what that it, is? It's an older code, I believe. Oh yeah, you're right. Conform to the comics code. Before they in incorporated the stamp. Yeah, but before they started burning the books that didn't have the this thing on it. This one does not conform to the code. Journey Down Awards oh, 11. It does. Oh, it does! <laughs> wow, really? Even with that monster? That doesn't look code to me. The code must have... What's that say? Maybe it's a uh, to the comics code. code. Maybe. Even though it doesn't really conform, because that doesn't conform. Well, it may, it probably got harsher. There was probably only a handful of rules in the first couple of months. I'll be, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I am not an expert on the code. I, I know that Marv Wolfman was 
was the reason they started putting creators' names on the covers because they couldn't have Wolfman, <laughs> but because his name is Wolfman, they could put Wolfman on the cover. Oh my god! And they they had to be like, this is the the guy's name. You can't tell us to not put the author's name on the book. And they're like, oh well, okay. And then they just kind of eased up on it. From what I understand. That sounds like an urban legend. Someone tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Journey in the World's 20, 6 5, The Race That Vanished. Journey in the World's 21, 4 5. Decapitation cover? <laughs> Is that really a decapitation, though? Sometimes modern, modern art can be too modern. Ironic, because that book is, what, 70 years old now? Almost. I know. 53, it's 2020, so it's 67 years old. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Mystery Tales, 23. See, that also has the star. I don't think that's the same comic code, man. 1954, the code definitely would have been around by then. Hmm. I'll have to do some research. I, I really don't know what... I bet you won't if, if you just wait till to release this and read the comments. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure people will be happy to tell you. See, that's the comic code that I know. It could have taken them a while to come and cement that logo. The, the star one, they probably just threw together real quick. I bet you the star was self-imposed, like you said. Well, but all of them were self-imposed. You didn't have to... Oh, right. You didn't have to use the code. You just weren't going to be carried if you didn't. Right. So. Yeah, that's true. One of those catch-22s. Journey in the World's 42? 6-5? Yeah, there's some good grades in here. I like the minor cover on that. I'm not really sure what they're digging for. Probably coal. Manhunters. Journey to Unknown Worlds 40? 5-5? Five, five. Alright. I'm getting them back in these bags. Channel Worlds 53, 5-5. Five, it's five. a Bill Everett cover. I don't know much to say about these uh, these Golden Age I know. Atlas books. Oh, this one's neat. I, I like this cover. Channel Worlds 49, 5-5. Five, five. Are those robots or are yeah. those human suits? Yeah, I think they're robots. Yeah, robot cover. Okay. According to CGC, they're robots. They're robots. Well, I mean, they must have read the book. <laughs> I, I, admit I have not read that issue. It's a pretty cool cover. I like that one. Journey to Unknown Worlds 6, 4 5. Man's turned into a. What do you call it? A merman. That's a pretty cool looking cover. Yeah, it's kind of cool. See, that's the weird underwater sort of book I would like to read. Yeah, you're you're kind of you're you're a, a Namor fan, aren't you? I am. I, I like the weird ocean setting. I, I, I so we, we in the last video we talked about the rumor. Does that not excite you? The rumor that Doom and Namor might team up. I mean. Let, to put it bluntly, I'm too worried that they're going to screw the FF up again <laughs> to, to, to be optimistic about them doing Submariner right. Now, I don't think they're going to screw it up. It's not the same studio as it's been previously, so I'd like to think it'll be better. Yeah. Word of Fantasy 17, oh, this is a robot cover as well. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I have. I have. I mean, maybe I'm in the minority, but I have confidence in 
Marvel and Disney's ability to to put out movies now. Well, I mean, I mean, they, they've done a pretty, they have a pretty good track record, I think. They do, but again, there's been four Fantastic Four movies, and the best one is the Roger Corman. So, Mystical Tales three, five, five. Granted, none of none of those were Disney's. Those were all Fox movies. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Fox definitely screwed up Fantastic Four for sure. Mystical Tales 2, 5, 0. Oh. The Black Blob. That's kind of a neat cover. Look down below. Just don't touch it. Don't touch it? Yeah, if you touch the blob, you become part of the blob. Is that... You've never seen the blob? You, yeah, from X Men. No, no, the, the horror movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, the real blob. I've never seen the blob. Oh, you you gotta watch it. It's on HBO, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, here we go. We're outside of Atlas now. Uh, oh, it's a Canadian edition. Oh, really? I didn't catch that. Oh. Wait. So there, there is no code, I would assume. For no. Canada. Oh. I don't know. Strange Mysteries 1130. It's a pretty cool cover. That is a cool cover. Could you have skeletons after the code on the cover? I don't think. I don't could. think. I don't think you could either. That, that sounds like something they wouldn't allow. Yeah. Tales to Astonish Nine. It's Droom. That looks like it could be Dicko. Oh yeah, this is probably packed with Dicko. Yeah, Dicko, Kirby. And Dick Ayers. Oh, it's, oh, no, it's Kirby and Dick Ayers cover. That's Kirby. I could see Dick but, doing but, those interiors, though, because he did a bunch of the um, Gorgos. But there's there's Dicko art inside. Right, right, That that's what I'm saying, because oh, he okay. did a lot of those, uh, oh, usually Charlton. All these, um, these pre-hero monster Atlas books are all, like, Kirby, Dicko, and... All the precursor stuff to like you know to Marvel, and then Tales to Astonish Forty One. It's an early um, Ant Man. Forty One and Four O. Prisoner of the Slave World. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, uh, as uh, one of our commenters says, uh, smash that subscribe button <laughs> and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a video um, also check us out on the web at sellmycomicbooks.com and dotcomcomics.com and on ebay at dotcomcomics till next time talk to you later